In the world of computers, we're familiar with physical ports like USB and HDMI ports. Now, let's shift our focus to another kind, logical ports. Unlike physical ports for hardware connections, these are software-based. They play a crucial role in enabling smooth communication between different software applications or services within a computer network, ensuring efficient data exchange. In computer networking, devices communicate with each other over networks through the use of IP addresses, which serve as unique identifiers for each device. However, for effective communication, it's not only the IP address that matters, port numbers are also crucial. Let's see why. A port number, a 16-bit integer ranging from 0 to 65,535, serves to identify processes or services on a computer or device within a network. Imagine sending a package to someone in an apartment building. The IP address is like the building's address, specifying its location. Port numbers are like apartment numbers within that building, indicating specific services or applications. Together, they ensure data reaches the right spot on a device in a network, much like an address and apartment number guide a package to a particular unit in a building. For example, you connect a remote machine using Telnet. Telnet, by default, uses port number 23 as the point of connection. When data packets are exchanged between your computer and the remote computer during a Telnet session, they contain information such as the source and destination IP addresses and port numbers. Once the data packet reaches the remote machine based on the destination IP address, the port number becomes crucial for directing the packet to the correct service, in this case, Telnet. Since various services on the remote machine may be running on different port numbers, specifying the Telnet port, 23, ensures that the data packet reaches the appropriate service. While the remote machine uses the well-known port 23 for Telnet services, the local machine uses a dynamically assigned port for the outgoing connection. The dynamic port on the local machine is chosen by the operating system to facilitate communication. Likewise, when you access a website through a browser, a similar process occurs. The underlying service is typically HTTP or HTTPS, with respective port numbers of 80 and 443. Do you want to know which ports are currently in use on your computer? You can utilize a tool called Netstat to achieve this. First, open a command prompt or terminal window on your computer. Now, type the command netstat-n and hit enter. This command will show you a list of all active connections and listening ports on your computer, including details like the protocol used, local and remote IP addresses, and port numbers, all displayed in their numeric form. Port numbers are assigned by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. They're classified into three main categories. First, we have the well-known ports, ranging from 0 to 1023. These are reserved for specific services and protocols, like HTTP, FTP, and SSH. Next, we have registered ports, spanning from 1024 to 49151. These ports are assigned by IANA, but can be used by any application upon registration. Lastly, we have dynamic or private ports, which are from 49152 to 65535. These ports are dynamically assigned by the operating system for temporary use during network communication. Here are some well-known port numbers and their associated protocols or services. Port 80, assigned for HTTP, facilitating web browsing. Port 443, assigned for HTTPS, facilitating secure web browsing. Port 21, assigned for FTP, enabling file transfer between computers. Port 22, assigned for SSH, providing secure remote access and file transfer. Port 23, assigned for Telnet, allowing remote terminal access. Port 25, assigned for SMTP, used for sending emails. Port 53, assigned for DNS, translating domain names into IP addresses. Port 110, assigned for POP3, used for retrieving emails from a mail server. Port 143, assigned for IMAP, offering advanced email retrieval features. Port 161, assigned for SNMP, 
for monitoring and managing network devices. Port numbers are necessary for network communication because they allow multiple network services or protocols to operate simultaneously on the same device. They enable the operating system to correctly route incoming network traffic to the appropriate application or service based on the port number associated with it. For the average computer user, understanding port numbers isn't necessary for day-to-day -day computer usage. Port numbers are typically handled by the applications and protocols being used behind the scenes. Application developers are responsible for specifying port numbers in their programs during the development process. However, for those who are curious or have a specific need to understand how networking works at a deeper level, learning about port numbers and their significance can be beneficial. That's all for this video. We hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.